Okay, everybody, this is today's next video. It's an experiment. We're going to do mixed mixing gas with water. There is a reason why you would want to do this. Well, I am doing it for you. This here is water. This here is mixed gas. It doesn't matter if it's 50 to 1, it doesn't matter if it's 40 to 1 or 32 to 1, it's gas. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put water into that and see which floats. We're going to put mixed gas into the water and see which floats, okay? So, <clears throat> the reason why we're doing this is because you might get a customer that will turn something to you like he did to me. He'll probably return it, he'll probably put water into the gas tank, and he'll see that he never used it and is a full tank of gas. It'll look deceptive. And then he'll flood it, so he'll put water into the carburetor by doing that. So we're going to find out how this happens, okay? So let's say this is your, your weed whacker, your lawnmower, or whatever. The customer comes along and he puts water into it, okay? We're gonna do that. We're gonna let that settle for a bit, and of course it's gonna separate, right? And look at that. See, it's already separating. So we're gonna let that sit for a bit. Now we're gonna do the other one. We're gonna put the mixed gas into the water. Okay, and as you can see, it too is separating. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you are seeing here is gas is floating on water. So, when a customer comes to you and he brings to you a full tank of gas, and you look at it, you're looking at uh, like the dark part here. You looked at the dark part here and say, like, holy shit, yeah, you really didn't use it. Uh, little do you know that the, uh, the fuel filter is sitting in the water here. And when he goes to start it up, he's sucking up that water and it's sucking it into the carburetor, screwing up the carburetor because carburetors don't use water. They use gas, okay? If a customer does this to you, he's fraudulently fooling you, messing with you. Do not fall for this trick. Now we know what happens when you pour one into the other. The same thing is true when your gas tank has condensation into it. That will happen. Water will go down. You will need to flush. This is why I say flush your gas tank at the end of each use when you know you're storing it for a long time. Okay, so this is it. This is the end of our video. This is the end of the experiment. This is what happens when you mix mixed gas with oil or there's condensation in your gas tank. Okay, everybody needs to know this. Now you know.